The last few episodes we've shared have shown a different side to Studio McGee, which I'm really excited about. We typically take on three different types of design clients. First, the thing that we do the most often is full service. This is clients that have a lot of design work. It's usually full homes and they're anywhere across the country and we manage every single facet from beginning to end of the design process and all the details from door hinges to pillows. The second type we take on is webisode projects. These are smaller one to three room projects, very local, quicker turnaround time for us and it allows us to sh do um, videos for you guys and do a get the look. We also take on e-design projects. These are um, projects where the client comes to us and they want design direction but they implement it on their own. And that's why we don't usually get to share photos and videos of those projects. However, we got lucky because this e-design project was um, in Salt Lake City and it was a really great opportunity for us to come in and show you the results of an e-design. Our client had um, a 1950s fixer upper and they worked with an architect to develop the plans and we gave them guidance with finishes and the furnishings and then today we came in and did a little bit of styling so we could get it all ready for video. Our client has this beautiful minimal style and the vision was natural woods, whites, matte black, and then the only color would be a few hints of blue and lots of natural greenery. The kitchen turned out beautifully. It showcases one of my favorite trends right now in kitchens, which is natural wood. And this is beautiful because there is no hardware. And I love that we use Calcutta Nouveau on the countertops. It's by Caesar Stone. It's a quartz surface. We've used it in really traditional kitchens and we've used it in modern kitchens and it just works really well. We dressed the kitchen up with accessories from McGee & Co. today and this bowl is one of my favorites. It looks good filled with fruit or it looks good alone. And um, this concrete brush holder soap and this base is one of my favorites because it's got this gray dipped bottom. In the living room, the first thing you see are these really great statement chairs, and then everything just plays off of that pattern. We kept the styling everywhere really simple. Uh, we used, we actually worked with a local photographer recently, Travis J, to um, come up with this line of prints, and we used one here. I love the buffalo, um, and then just a simple sculptural object here and on the coffee table. On the sofa, we added our textiles, and you can see there isn't one just bright pop of color, but we added dimension um, through the types of fabrics used. I love how the fireplace turned out. A no mantle fireplace is one of my favorite looks right now, and I really like that in this one, we kept the original hearth and then refaced the top part with a smooth drywall. And here our client did not want a headboard, which was a request that we have never received before. And so we were excited for the challenge to make the space still feel cozy. And we've done that through textural velvets and um, interesting patterns on this textile, this really great Moroccan shag rug that's in the shop, tassels on the throw, and really great sculptural lamps. I love that even though our client has this very minimal style, it still feels warm because of all the natural wood. We carried the same finishes from the kitchen into the master bathroom um, to keep things very continuous and streamlined. Uh, we did a wall-mounted faucet in the master, which I love, and I am especially drawn to the marble that we used. We used this really lar large scale tile on the shower walls and then juxtaposed it with a small hexagon on the floors. 
It was really fun to get to share an e-design project with you, um, and it was fun for me to get to visit one in person. And uh, you can shop all the textiles and the accessories that you see on McGee & Co. For more home tours and design tips, don't forget to subscribe.